Hey, hey, anime fan, it's Sailor Moon Review Time, and today it's Sailor Moon Crystal, episode 15. The show begins with Usagi getting mugged by Rini in a daring daylight robbery in a Tokyo park. But Darian puts the kibosh on that, good thing the dude has the reflexes of a Spider-Man. And after she fails to get her paws on the silver crystal, Rini goes and sulks. But future mommy and daddy give the little brat a lift home. Sadly, it's a literal lift. Learn to walk, you pink marshmallow. Getting carried ain't cool. Meanwhile, on the big black ball of evil from the fifth element, everyone's favorite space mobsters, the Black Moon family, are preparing to find and destroy the Silver Crystal. And the four sister psycho sailors are at bat, starting with Catsy. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Ray is helping her school's paranormal investigation club, not kidding, at a school fair by doing the whole Miss Cleo shtick. But Ray's got a little competition from Catsy, who's undercover gathering info, followers, and setting nuns on fire. Not kidding. Oh damn, she's going to hell for that. Yeah, and Sailor Mars is ready to dropkick her into the seventh circle. But Mars ends up the loser in this battle of the pyromaniacs. And it looks like Sailor Moon will end up a greasy black stain on the pavement, but Tuxedo Mask is here to save the day. And in other stunning news, the sun rises in the morning. And with the power of love, or something like that, Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask summon a plus two scepter of <laughs> you and blow Catsy to kingdom come. But alas, all is not well, as Rubius abducts Sailor Mars into his intergalactic jalopy. Okay, so this one's a mixed bag, but leaning on the good. Let's start with the biggest blackest black mark on the episode. No, all of Sailor Moon, Rini. She starts off as a complete brat, who seems to want to change history and disappear Marty McFly style, and then has the gall to try and manipulate us into feeling bad for her. But Rini is about as sympathetic as a Tyranid Carnifex, but without the shock and awe to compensate. And even worse is how everyone insists on being nice to her. But Serena's family has an excuse. They're under duplicitous mind control. Seriously, Sailor Saturn can't get here fast enough. She's the only one that can make Rini even mildly tolerable. Now for my biggest problem with the episode. And this one's entirely personal, so it won't impact the episode's final score too much. I liked the Dark Moon sisters when they were just misguided misanthropes. But in Crystal, they're straight up evil. Setting nuns on fire. There's just no coming back from that. And personal opinion here, you can't go just a little bit dark either. Either you're tying damsels in distress to railroad tracks and ripping off banks in stylish matching costumes, or you're racking up an insane kill streak of innocent civilians with high-powered weapons and homemade explosives to get the other guy by any means. Either we're being gentlemen about this, or we're not. But that's just my opinion. Now let's look at the positives. The big action scene at the end is darn good, with that patented blend of goofy speeches and magic super moves, which is awesome. All five scouts get in on the act, which is also awesome. Oh, and there's a cool subplot about the school's paranormal investigators looking in on UFOs and spontaneous human combustions, which is obviously really the work of the Dark Moon family. Where's Mulder and Scully when you need them? It's also nice to see the upper ranks of the family again, like boss of bosses Prince Diamond, who's a class act as always. And the wise man, who sadly doesn't sound like he's been smoking two packs a day in the basement of Dol Guldur. But he does sound venerable, so I guess that works. Okay, now it's time to break down the good and the bad in Sailor Moon Crystal episode 15. On the good side, the action is as good as it ever gets on Sailor Moon Crystal. There's an interesting subplot involving conspiracies, and it ends on one hell of a cliffhanger. On the downside, Rini is towing a ton of bad baggage, but that's par for the course. And the baddies are evil as all. But hey, if that's where we're going, I guess I can dig it. So I give Sailor Moon Crystal episode 15 a 4 out of 5. If you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913. Or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.